Hey everyone, so I have not put together a full video recently, so I need to catch you guys up on what's been going on. So I have been really focused on trying to catch my personal best largemouth this season, and I have had some super exciting catches that I want to share a few different clips with you guys. The first one is right here. So I have been manifesting that I want to catch a PB largemouth this year and I think I may have just caught it. Um, I'm gonna show you what just happened though because I'm not sure so I'm gonna put that clip right here. So this is not what you want to see when you think you caught your PB largemouth. Okay so I'm gonna show you guys this fish. This is oh my gosh I'm like I'm shaking this is a crazy fish for me. Check it out! Oh my gosh! That is just an amazing fish. Oh. And uh, I put it on the bump board. It was like, I think 19 and a half inches. So not a long fish, but a girthy fish. So, wow, I'm gonna send her back. We got a few photos of her. And uh, yeah, either way, Amazing fish. I'll never know the weight, but that's okay. She's going back. There she goes. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay, so my camera is all foggy because it's raining. Uh, another cool thing about this fish is that I caught it on the Neko rig, which is something I just started throwing. Like, this is my second time out using it, so. Uh, I just recently did a video on fishing this for the first time, so super cool to catch a nice big largey on a new rig. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm just kind of uh, still <laughs> just in shock. That was an awesome fish and I need a new scale. <laughs> So that was insane, uh, probably the most memorable fish of the summer so far. Um, as you saw, unfortunately it was raining so I didn't get to put a full video together that day. After that day, um, not wanting to take any chances on a scale, I went to sail. So that was a Saturday, the next day on Sunday I went to sail and bought a brand new scale, uh, the Rapala, where is it, Rapala 50 pound high contrast scale. So I wasn't taking any more chances when I went out. Uh, so as I said, that was a Sunday. Two days later on a Tuesday, I received a package in the mail unexpectedly from my friends at Rapala, and they actually sent me this scale <laughs> with a note that said for your next PB to be weighed properly. So that was honestly so nice, so amazing of them to do. So now I've got two of these scales, got no excuses. And uh, I'm going to share another clip with you guys from another fish, my first fish that I put on the scale. Okay guys, I'm a little jittery here. I just watched this fish eat on live scope. Whew, Eric's just on his way over to get a photo of it for me. Beauty. Alright, got my new scale. Finally caught a fish worthy of trying it out. See, there we go. I don't know if it's quite five, but oh, uh, four point six. <laughs> okay, get this guy and hooked. I really do like that scale. It's nice. Okay, let's get a shot of this fish. Yes. <laughs> All right, we got a couple photos. Time for this gal to go back. There she goes. So one more exciting catch to show you guys where I was filming. Uh, check it out. Oh my gosh. What on earth? Oh my 
my gosh. This is a bass. It's a freaking monster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is definitely a freaking PB. Oh my gosh. I have to get this fish in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Under the kayak. Under the kayak. I can do this, I can do this. In the wheat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, that is 100% a PB. Holy. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. And the hook is just like corner of the mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am like vibrating. <laughs> oh my God. I can hardly speak. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, stay in there. Stay in the net, stay in the net. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna weigh this thing. Wow. This is crazy. Might actually be a PB. Quickly, video, switch the view. Okay, it's shaking a bit. I saw it say 526 and I'm up to 531 and my arm is vibrating. Anyways, whatever. It's a big one. Close, I, I feel like my PB would be five and a half. 526 is not too far off. Um, it's a beautiful fish. I'm going to quickly measure it. Just to get a measure. It's nice to know how long they are. And I'll do a video of that as well. Stay still. <laughs> 20 incher. Awesome. Okay. One last thing. Got it uh, documented. Now I'm gonna take a quick photo. Got a nice photo of her. Just gonna move this tripod out of the way. All right, so I just wanted to paddle over and let her go in the area that I caught her. I kind of drifted a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Ah, oh, yes. What a gorgeous fish. I thought it was a PB, I think just a little bit less, but nonetheless, an amazing fish and I'm going to film the release. All right, there here we go. <laughs> and that was on the Neko again. I'm a broken record this year, but it's been helping me catch some bigs. Right now it's caught in my battery pack for the camera. Dang, what a fish. So a PB for me would be anything upwards of five and a half pounds. I think that'd be a safe bet. I've caught lots of five pounders over the years, but I don't think I've cracked that 5.5 yet. Um, so that's what I'm after. Um, before I start fishing, I actually wanna show you guys another exciting fish this season that wasn't mine, but Eric caught an awesome, awesome fish uh, when we were out, uh, I think it was like a couple weeks ago now. And uh, here is a clip from that. Hey Eric, time to release the beast. Yes. <laughs> yeah. ready to go. Just so. So what do you got there, by the way? 5.99 largey. Not the longest uh, fish in the world, but look at the color on it. That's a PB for me, so I am just going to let her go now. Got a quick measure on her, got a quick weight, got some photos. 
What a hug. Go. Look at her. <laughs> gone. Nope. She gone. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Good job. So those are the most exciting largemouth catches of the season so far, but there's lots of season left. Uh, today's going to be a lot of fun. It is a gorgeous day, very low wind, and uh, I'm going to I'm out in the kayak once again. I'm going to see what I can get into. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. Wow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Oh. First cast. And it's a giant. I gotta get it in. Really? Oh, I can't believe this. Okay. Wow. This is good fish. Check it out. <laughs> I could not believe it when I hit this fish. The first cast. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got. Three nine nine. Wow. Thought it might be a little bit bigger. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Still a heck of a way to start the day. Hopefully more to come. Alright, that was on the Ned. So I've been spending a lot of time fishing outside weed lines. The water's warmer right now, like where I'm sitting is 77 degrees. I'm not finding a ton of fish up shallow lately, so I'm just kind of moving off to the outside edges. And I've been focusing more on finesse techniques. Uh, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I picked up the Neko rig this year, and all of my biggest largemouth have come on that rig. Also the Ned rig, another finesse technique. So today I brought with me my Neko rod, my Ned rod, a jig, and a chatterbait. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Right now, oh, what do I got here? Got some panfish biting. Uh, right now, I'm fishing a new section of the lake I have not covered before, so anything could happen. I'm sitting in about nine to 10 feet of water. The weeds are just tapering off here. So just doing some exploring and see what I find. Seeing lots of fish on live scope out here. Starting to see a little bit thicker weeds out in front of me here. More defined edge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Staying down. What do we have? Nice. Another largey. By the way, this lake also has smallmouth. Whoa! This fish is so cool. It's got black lips. Literally looks like there's lipstick on it. Hold on, I'll get it unhooked and then show you. <gasps> Check out the lipstick on this fish. <laughs> That's cool. That was neat. Find that the Neko rig weeds out the little guys a bit, so I'm gonna switch it up. See if that helps. Got one. Saw a school. Wow. 
So a school of fish, pass it out to them. Oh yeah, that was a school of big largies. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Wasn't sure if they were interested, but that guy was on pretty quick. Oh, that's a nice fish. I gotta get him in. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a good fish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta track that school down again. There's a log out here waypointed from a previous trip. And these fish were kind of schooled not far off it. All right, I don't see the school now, so I'm gonna keep moving along. Stay an hour. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, get it up. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice largey. Telling me. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, another beauty. <laughs> wow. What's crazy is the shape of this fish, how round it is. Wow. Very nice. Okay. So gonna take a little story of this guy for Instagram. Don't know if you guys are following me, but it's easy to find me. She loves to fish. It's been a good Monday so far. There's a good one. <laughs> He's feisty. <laughs> Come check out my kayak for a sec here, pal. There. There we go. Another nice Largo. Now the way I'm working this, is just casting out and hopping a bit. Well, casting out, making sure it sinks, connecting with bottom, that's key. And then giving it a few hops and then casting it again. I find that they're hitting it sometimes on the way down, but usually once it's on bottom. Doesn't, if they're interested, it doesn't take much for them to jump on it right away. <laughs> oh boy, it's coming up. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> wow, nice. Let's see if I can get him in. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Putting on a show. Don't get me hooked, man. There we go. Oh, I'm really hooked. Nice. <laughs> okay. That guy came out of 12 feet of water. I'm on a steeper shoreline here. I've seen quite a few fish, but haven't had many bites. Whoa. Okay, I spoke too soon. Oh my gosh, this feels, uh, feels half decent. It's taking me in. I'm <laughs> staying down. Head shakes are decent. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a fish I want to net, probably. Oh, <gasps> yup, 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 no, no. <gasps> that's a net fish, that's a net fish. Okay, I'll bring him. I don't know what side he wants to go on. Maybe this side. Oh gosh. Oh yes! Oh my gosh! Okay. 
I gotta turn. Wow, that is definitely a nice fish. Wowzers. Oh. Hold still, pal. Wow, the girth on this thing is insane. Look at it. Oh. Hook just fell out. Look at that thing. Wow, okay. I like to keep the fish wet while I'm doing anything, so I'm probably going to weigh it just for curiosity. So I'll keep them in the water for now. Get my scale ready. I think it's bigger than the one I got earlier. Oh my gosh, I get... I feel like I've got my life together until I catch a nice fish and then I just get tangled and flustered. Okay, this can go here. There. All right, let's weigh this fish. It's a nice one. I don't want to guess because I'll probably be wrong. Turn the scale on. Okay, it's very round, not very long. Let's see. Let's see what you are. What's the, <gasps> wow. Bigger than I thought, four, 47. Wow. Almost four and a half. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to get a photo of this one. It's chilling in the net for a sec. Turn my skill off. Okay. Drum trump out. <laughs> I know you wanna. Alright, just got a photo. I'm going to let her go. I'm going to get a little release video here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Beauty. She's going back. There. Awesome. Yeah. Getting a little bigger. That's a beauty. All right. Just continuing on. See if we can get into the five pound range or above. So I'm using the Z-Man bang sticks for my Neko rig and just I've said it in so many videos but I'm such a huge fan of Z-Man because this is the same worm I started with and even after multiple fish Still good to go. I do check my line frequently though, because sometimes they can rub on something and there's nothing worse than breaking off on a good fish. That was a fun fish. <laughs> 447. There's some bait there as I'm making my way across to the shoreline. School below me, cast out, and what is it? Jeez, those were big. Is that a largey? Wow, another largey school. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> right in the top lip, and I'm in 20 feet of water. Just happen to look down, see a school. Cast out, catch one. It is so cool seeing those schools of largemouth like that, but they are here and gone so fast. By the time I cast it out and hooked a fish, 
brought it in, school is gone. Wow. I'm not sure how big it is at first. It didn't feel very big, but. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a little bigger than I thought. Oh my gosh. You on the net side here? Oh boy. Gotcha. Nice. We're right in the corner of the mouth. Nice. <laughs> All right. I'm in 13 now. Heading towards another shoreline here. Searching for a bacon. There's one. And it feels big. Oh. Oh God. <gasps> yeah. yeah, 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 that's a big one. <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta loosen the drag on this guy a little bit. I didn't get a real good look, I just know it's big. And it's in charge. Is it going in the weeds? Come on, get out of the weeds. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is a nice fish. It is staying down. Wow. Kind of happy with that. I think it'd be scary if this fish was jumping. Come on. Oh, he's caught in the weeds. I see him. I just don't want to put too much tension. Get him out. Oh, he's still there. I'm just going to grab him here because he's full of salad. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, maybe not as big as I thought. But, another nice one. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a Instagram story for you. Here, a nice fish. I can get my phone ready. Ah, forget it, my phone. It's gonna take me too long. Okay, going back. So this shoreline is pretty steep. I'm sitting in 20 feet of water. And it slopes down. There's lots of vegetation. Lots of panfish. All right, so I just lost one of my Neck of rig, so I'm putting a new one on. I'm using the Z-Man bang sticks in black blue laminate. And these are the Neko Shrooms uh, weight. I like the 110th, but I think I'm out. So this is a 115th, a little bit lighter. So what I do is put a little dab of super glue on there. Just to hold it in place. Hold it for 10 seconds. And it's good to go. There's a fish. Oh boy. Good. I gotta keep the tension on him. Oh. Nice. Okay, that's good. <laughs> wow, he's towing me. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him around here. 
Nice. Whoa. Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> Another nice one. It's been a good day for chubby fish. Oh, hello. <gasps> okay, didn't jump, didn't jump. <laughs> Whoa, oh my gosh, yep. That was a jump. <laughs> gonna jump again? Holy, you're dramatic. Just come here for a sec. <laughs> Beauty. Wow, this is super thick. Look at him, he's very round. <laughs> nice guy. Oh, I was just gonna say, I haven't had a bite in a little while. Oh my gosh. Haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. Oh boy, yeah, that's a good one. Let me turn my tide around. <laughs> wow, that's a nice fish. Very nice. Be good, go in the net. Thank you. Oh, yes. Wow. It's definitely one of the better fish of the day. Wow, look at this thing. <laughs> oh man, I'm tempted to weigh it. I think I will. Okay, pull off from there. It's gonna splash everywhere, I'm sure. There it is. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, scale zeroed. Get you, chunky fish. See how big you are. Oh. All right, let's see. Wow, this is a very thick fish. Four, nine, one. The new leader of the day is this stunning fish. <laughs> okay, awesome. Haven't quite hit five, but that one's pretty close. I think I'll do another photo. Well, this guy's chilling in the live well, AKA net. All right, this fish is ready to go back. I'm gonna do a video release. Got my phone ready. Here she goes. With a splash. Awesome, okay. My phone is just soaked. Luckily, slightly waterproof. That's a good one. Coming in pretty easily. No. <laughs> really saw me. Whoa, this is a really gnarly fish. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta see this thing. Oh wow, I've never seen that before. Oh, this is sad, his eyeball is coming right out, yuck. Well, it's a close up shot of it, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, there's a fawn right beside me. There it is, oh my gosh. So cute, still got the spots. I'm 
gonna move along so I'm not disturbing it. All right, everyone, I'm gonna sign off here. It has been such a fun day. I've caught some nice fish and the quest for personal best largemouth continues. It has just been such a fun season and I'm just sitting here like admiring the amazing view that I have and just the nice calm conditions. So there's been a lot of storms this season, lots of rain, lots of wind, so I'm just soaking it up here. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I'll do that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you below and I'll see you next time.